Hello and welcome back to my channel, Mothers Teach. My name is Simone and on this channel, you can find various topics on motherhood, homemaking and homeschooling. So go ahead and check my channel out. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to teach your toddler their name from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. So the way I'm gonna be teaching you how to teach your toddler to spell their name is in eight easy steps. It takes a lot of time and it does not happen within a few months. It could if your child is able to pick up things quicker. I actually use these methods on my own child, Priya. We're pretty much, we have like two more steps to go. We need to practice on her tracing and then that way she can actually spell out her name. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the first step. So with the first step, you're gonna wanna make sure that your child actually knows their name. Do they respond to their name when their name is called? And some signs that you're gonna be looking for is do they smile at you when you say their name? Do they just come right over to you when you say their name? Or do they at least just turn their head to look at you and make eye contact? You want some type of sign of awareness that they are aware that their name is so-and-so. So for the next step, assuming that they are aware of their name and they know their name and can respond, you want them to eventually be able to say their first name, at least the first name. So if I say Priya, what is your name? And she should be able to say Priya or Priya Erskine, but at least make sure that they can at least say their first name when you ask them that question. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, these steps are gonna take some time and they're gonna need a lot of patience. You're gonna wanna start out doing this as early as two weeks old. That's when I started, and then it was just a process and different phases that we went through as she got older. So she's two and a half, she'll be three next month in September, and we are still trying to work our way to step eight. Like I said, we have two more steps left, which is tracing and actually writing her name out. She was not actually saying her name and answering that question until she was about one or almost one. So in this next step, step number three, do they know all of their letter sounds? So I have been teaching Priya since she was two weeks old, all of her letter sounds. I did not start out with just teaching her the alphabet song or saying them really in order. I tried to start out with mixing them up or picking a letter of the week or of the day and teaching her that letter sound. You wanna make sure that they know their letter sounds because each name is said different, spelled different. You want them to really get a hold or grasp of the different sounds that these letters make. So that's gonna be a real good skill for them when they start to pronounce their own name, spell it out. So I'm gonna show you an example. I've already showed these flashcards that I use for Priya in previous videos. So go ahead and check them out. I'll leave them linked down below as well as you should be able to click a link here to go to that video. But don't stop watching this video. I wanna go ahead and just show you some updated flashcards. Since Priya already knows her alphabet and her letter sounds, I have recently changed and upgraded how uh, the flashcards look. They used to be all capital letters and they were more high contrast so white background and black letters and they were all uppercase letters as well just to make sure that they were big she was able to see them and you really just want them to recognize the letter and then be able to say the letter sound now that she knows them she doesn't really need the high contrast cards so I played around with some designs and I went ahead and custom made some new flashcards. Again, I will reiterate, and I do have other videos on how to use flashcards, but you wanna just make sure that you're telling them what the letter is and the letter sound, and then you're gonna go really, really fast. A, A, B, K, D, E, F, G. Once you know that they've mastered the whole alphabet and can say them out of order to you, then you want to move on to the next step. What sound does letter R make? Right? What sound does letter B make? What sound does letter T make? What sound does letter C make? What sound does letter D make? What sound does letter I make? What sound does letter A make? What sound does letter S make? <laughs> what sound does letter N make? <laughs> what sound does letter P make? <laughs> what sound does letter M make? <laughs> what sound does letter O make? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah! You can do painting! Yeah! 
So the next step is, in step number four, I actually taught Priya a song. So you're gonna want to use some type of skill that they've really picked up on and whether it's they build really good or they can sing, you know, they're always trying to keep a tune or make a beat or something. So Priya really likes to sing and dance. So I went ahead and took it upon myself to make a song out of her name. And so it goes like this. P-R-I-Y-A-H, P-R-I-Y-A-H. And then I had, I kept doing that over and over again and then I would ask her to sing with me. P-R-I-Y-A-H. What's that spell? Priya. Yay. Do it together at least about seven to 10 times over and over and over again. And then I would ask her to do it by herself. And then once I knew that she was able to uh, do it all on her own, whether I asked her all throughout the week, kind of gave her like little pop quizzes when I would ask her like, Priya, how do you spell your name? What's the song? And then we would sing it. Once I knew that she was able to just do it at the drop of the hat, then we went on to the next step. So step number five is getting your child to recognize their name when it's written out on paper, on a board, on a computer, tablet, whatever it may be, just getting them to understand that when they see their name wherever they're able to recognize it and know that that's their name okay so I started writing her name out on the chalkboard or the whiteboard or typing it out through text or anything I could lay my hands on and spelling out her name I made sure that she was able to recognize that that was her name and I was doing that every single day like I always say in my videos as far as teaching your toddlers anything repetition is key repetition is going to keep it sharp in their mind and they're able to go ahead and regurgitate that and just say whatever information that you've been giving them verbatim. In step number six, in this step, you're gonna want to make sure that they can spell their name out, each letter, at least the first name, without having to sing the song. So like I said before, I taught Priya how to spell out her name using a song, but now this time without using any type of rhythm or anything to help her remember, I just wanna be able to ask her and kind of give her pop quizzes throughout the week and throughout the months and make sure that she can spell out her name. So if we're over breakfast and we're eating together, I'll be like, hey, Priya, how do you spell your name? And then she'd be able to say it. It's good to teach this step before learning how to actually write it out because it just, it'll come more naturally. And they've already um, also been recognizing the letters on the piece of paper. So all of these steps are kind of building blocks to get to actually writing out their name on their own. With step number seven, you can kind of do this simultaneously with the step beforehand. I mean, you can start this at any time, but step number seven is just practicing and brushing up on their writing skills. And you want them to be able to trace lines and circles, diagonal lines, shapes, and things like that. I will be showing you an example of a book that I purchased off of Amazon, which is really cool tool to use to help your toddler with their fine motor skills like writing. Okay, you guys, so like I said, I was gonna show you a clip of the tracing book that's allowing Priya to practice her handwriting skills. And these are also practicing her fine motor skills, okay? So I got this off of Amazon and it's the big preschool book. Skill areas include pre-writing skills, alphabet, colors, and shapes, following directions, numbers, and early math, and more. So it's for ages three to five. Very first page, we start out with your common tracing. She's been doing that and she's pretty light with her crayons and pencils. So I've been trying to get her to write a little bit heavier to make sure that those lines show up. But I really like this book, okay? So we first read the directions to her. Trace the lines from left to right. And usually I have to play like I'm a little character. So I act like I'm the ant. I have to say, can you catch me? And then <laughs> we'll go through and then she'll try to catch the ant, the duck, kangaroo, bus, and the fish, okay? And then the next page is just a little bit more, help the hamster get to his friend, trace the path. So I do little like character voices and then she's able to help the hamster get to his friend. And there's just a lot of different pages here. So we've been doing them and she's been doing really good. She does come outside of the line sometimes, but for the most part, she does really, really good. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I will leave this book linked down below so you guys can get a jump start on your tracing and handwriting skills. Now, I'm still working on this step with Priya, so we are actually on step seven out of eight right now. Priya is 
not too interested right now in drawing and things like that so I kind of take it step by step with her I try not to you know push her too much but I do at least get her to just draw like squiggly lines or whatever she wants to draw I just try to guide her in the right direction as far as the actual task that I want her to do which is either draw a line or draw a circle or whatever it is now in step number eight after they have mastered pretty much drawing or tracing letters and different shapes and numbers, then they should be able at this point to be able to spell out their name. Now I'm kind of doing step seven and eight at the same time. I've just started out with allowing her to trace the letter P, which is the first letter in her name. And so I'll just use, I'll take her hand in mine and then we'll go to the chalkboard and then I'll let her guide me in tracing the letter P. And I kind of uh, let up a little bit just to make sure I'm feeling her actually do the motions and not me forcing her hand to do all the motions. And so I've actually seen that she's been actually learning uh, with the muscle memory on how to do that letter P. So I'm really excited. So hopefully we can get her to start doing letter R soon and then letter I, Y, A, and then H. Yeah, so those are pretty much the steps on how I am teaching and have taught Priya how to spell her name. Please comment down below. And if you love this video, and really enjoyed it please hit the like button and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that way you know every time I post a new video which is every week all right guys I hope you all enjoyed this video that's it for now until next time